If you didn't see uh, former President Donald Trump, yeah. um, they attempted to assassinate him. They, I don't know who they is. We'll find out <laughs> in this conversation. Yeah. Um, but it's coming out though, there's been a lot of conspiracy theories yeah. that have popped up um, yeah. since, like, almost immediately after it happened. And Ryan has one. I do. So yes, I do. so we're we're gonna we're gonna hear from Ryan after we hear from Miss. <laughs> Candace. <laughs> All right, here we go. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Let me say something right now. Take this to the bank, okay? That person was allowed to scale that roof, okay? I am not some individual who's trying to assess the situation and have never been around the president of the United States. While Trump was in office, okay, I have, was around him a lot, a lot. And let me tell you something. The Secret Service, there is no person that can get around the perimeter of the Secret Service where, where Donald Trump is without them being aware of it. So you're telling me that guy walked up and was trying to get the attention and the Secret Service saw him and he's pointing and he's saying this guy's got a gun, this guy's got a gun, and they're pretending they don't know what's going on? I mean, am, am I crazy? Do you guys actually believe this was a failure in intelligence? All of these Secret Service agents crawling around and you don't think just what that guy said, said that is common sense, okay? They're trying to now tell us that common sense is a conspiracy. That is the new thing that they're trying to sell to the public. Common sense. All right, so. She came in hot, didn't she? <laughs> you would have thought she was a Democrat the way she came in. Well, that's what's interesting. Why, why would you say that? Why, why do you say Democrat? she is pro-Trump. Like, I've... In recent interviews, she's like, Trump is the obvious choice to vote for. Yeah. So it's interesting that she thinks this was a setup well that, or I, that it was okay planned. i think i think people are assuming that what she's saying is that trump planned it she's not oh. she's saying that either the government or some higher up planned it yeah that's what she's saying she's oh, saying okay. the secret service did not act the way oh. they normally act yeah, they're, they're, the government is responsible job. they think that's what she's saying got it got it and what do you think about so that, my Ryan? thing is this mm. right i've been doing a lot of research on you know these these uh shootings these assassination attempts and there's always been uh, a bigger player in it right when it comes to the jfk assassination when it came to the the mlk assassination like it just doesn't seem like this was um a bunch of people just bumping into each other. You know what I mean? Like, this just didn't sound like law enforcement was just bumping into each other not knowing what was going on. Like, this has to be planned. This has to be strategic. Mm -hmm. When they come together, local police, state police, FBI, Homeland Security, uh, Secret Service, they have a meeting. There mm -hmm. are directors of each one of these departments having these conversations. There's not just, just send your local deputy out to police the area. No, this is the former president of the United States, the soon to be president or the now president. Um, what is it? Nominee or whatever. Presidential nominee. It's too easy. It was too easy for him. That doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Now, I'm not saying I know what's going on and I'm not speculating what I think is going on. I'm just saying it wasn't a 21. <laughs> it wasn't a 20 year old that just climbed up a building. I never thought I would see the shot. day. I never thought I would see the day when Ryan will become a Republican. I never thought <laughs> it has finally happened. Nobody so, said that. Chat Because your conspiracy <laughs> is the Republican conspiracy. No, 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 no. My conspiracy <laughs> is about Donald Trump being so polarizing that somebody's taking shots at him. Yeah, but that's uh, the kid with the gun. Yeah. That is not just the kid with the gun. So who is it then? Yeah. It's somebody. <laughs> who? It's somebody. I mean, he's he's he, here's the thing. He's putting too much out there that he's going to scare people. Right? <laughs> you're scaring you're scaring people on the higher level and the lower but level. Why does it have to be all that? Why can't it be the kid that actually shot the gun? Because it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. It's just too much information out there <laughs> for this to make sense. It just doesn't chat back me up <laughs> okay <laughs> to his point if we're not looking at democrat or republican mm -hmm. we're just looking at the facts of how things operate and the processes that go into how it operates yes when the meetings that he's referencing they not only just meet they have the landscape, the blueprints. Mm -hmm. They have all the buildings. They have all the streets. They are, are they already are looking at the possibility if there were a sniper or if there were any kind of weak holes or any possibilities of 
what angles that could shoot at yeah. the president, then that is covered. So all of a sudden, this particular building somehow was a blind spot. When that's the main thing they look for, they don't look for the obvious. They mm-hmm. look for the unobvious, the you know the thing the least likely. Yeah. So when you have that much detail, I mean, if a, Obama made it alive as a black president, that's real. I just knew. I was <laughs> How in the couple. world mm-hmm. did you know that got missed? And then you know, so it's not so much you know what parties you know are involved. It's what happened to the process that that is so meticulous mm. within a 50 mile radius, even including the air, that became a blind spot, a weak point for that to even happen. So let's let's get to it. Then what are you guys saying? Because here's the Demo- <laughs> here's the Democrat conspiracy. Donald Trump set this up to make himself look better, to get sympathy. That don't make sense. Here's the Republican <clears throat> conspiracy. It was an inside job. The government's trying to get Donald Trump out of here. What are you saying it is? It doesn't necessarily have to be the government, though. The it just Illuminati. Has to be, no, it didn't even be that. <laughs> uh, it could just be somebody higher up with self-interest and money. Who's higher up than the president? No, no, no. I'm saying like, talking about the like current like president. George no, no, no. Soros. I'm saying and all somebody people. higher up in the in the echelon is, of money is, and is, power. Is like it didn't Joe have to Biden be, that bad as a candidate? That they like, we <laughs> Nobody gotta, even assumes it's him. <laughs> is Joe Biden that bad of a candidate that they like, yo, we gotta get Trump up out of here this way. He he can I I think the I think the writing's on the wall, bro. I think the writing's on the wall that these people know that Trump is gonna win on November. Yeah. Mm. I think the writing's on the wall. And I think they like and if we going to say they, we don't know who they are, mm-hmm. but they yeah. see it and they can see it clear as day and like, OK, we got because because the rumor is at the um, Democratic National Convention coming soon, he's going to step down. That's the rumor out here. Okay. That's the rumor with him saying, hey, I'm going to step aside. That's the rumor. I don't know. So you are you that. in on this, too? You think it was a setup? <laughs> I don't think it was a setup, but what, what she just said makes perfect sense. Like. Mm-hmm. Anytime a, a former president is somewhere, they gonna make sure that place yeah. is clean to yeah. the T. Y'all, y'all have Not way only a more former president Donald Trump. Y'all have way more faith in in people knowing how to do a job than I do. I don't. Donald did Trump you see, needs did more you security see, than Fort Knox. Did you see after the shooting how much trouble they had to get through a fence? Did you see that shot where they were trying to go over the fence and then under the fence? They were trying to cut the fence. I don't trust anybody knows how to do their job that well. What are you talking Nobody. about? Nobody. So you if you didn't see it, you know what I'm talking about. When the building oh, when was behind the fence, them, yeah. they couldn't even get to the building. They look like Keystone cops trying to get to the building. Oh, okay, I don't trust thing, anybody though. knows how to do their job that, that well. Building was a staging area for the CI for the S for the Secret Service. The Secret and Service all was of them. in the building. Right. The problem is the the head of the, the Secret Service said the roof was too sloped. So they decided to go in the building instead of on top of the building. I think okay, it's okay. incompetence. Why okay. can't it just be that? Okay. No, because this Listen to this. If the Secret Service and all law enforcement are centrally located in that building, who's walking up with a rifle? Who? <laughs> but, but, but then they also the say, ladder was but, on but the side to, of the to, building. To, who's he, he, walking up? No, but with the a, no. But to Sean's okay. point, he brought though, the ladder. To yeah. Sean's point, they did. Some people from some Trump supporters did say they we talked to him like, "Hey, yeah. y'all, y'all don't see that guy right there?" They did. And they just dusted off. So, so your oh, wow. your your response to that information is set up. My response is stupid. <laughs> Why well, can't okay, it just okay. be stupid? Okay, because that's the day and age, day and time we in. People <laughs> is it was more than one account where people were like, "That guy has a gun." Yeah, he's on the building, right? That and they were probably like, "So does that guy over there? And so does that one? That guy has one too." Okay. It's a Republican. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> what are you talking about? To Sean's point, yes, your point is just as valid. Yeah. Because all the propaganda that goes into politics, they can either look incompetent or they can just be dismissive. And so it doesn't dismiss what you're thinking. But unfortunately, to Maya's point, it's a combination. It's just where we are as a society and they can sell a bill of goods however they want to sell it and just put it out there and don't care. I just think we've gotten we've gotten to a place of such distrust yeah. that I, I watched I people who would call QAnon people nuts say the most nuts thing <laughs> I've ever heard yeah. in my life. Yeah. 
And then, so it's like nuts people arguing with nuts people back and forth. And I'm just like, why isn't just the actual answer not good enough anymore? Nobody trusts nothing. Yep. I mean, There's that's... always something hiding in the bushes for everybody. How did we get to that point? I mean, that started with biblical times. I mean, there Jesus clearly. In the Bible. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying Jesus well, clearly gave answers to the Pharisees, and they dismissed it. Like, well, you think well, they were doing conspiracy theories like that? No, no, I'm saying like that. Those, those are the scales that are over our eyes. I mean, the Bible talks about that. So we're talking about this yeah. being a situation where nobody trusts the government at this point, right? We all have something we can look back and say, I don't trust that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. look at the shootings from. Philando Castile, he's reaching for his wallet. You're like, you don't trust the police now. You don't trust. Yeah, but, that's, no, there's, but diff- there's a difference between not trusting. Of course, watching Philando Castile get shot makes you be like, man, this is a bad situation. But to then think the cop who shot him was a agent of George Soros and his plan was <laughs> like, you're going like people are going way too past. So, but the my, I guess threat. my question to you is, why do you think that's not far fetched when like you talk about um, um, President Kennedy? getting killed and people saying that the government killed him killed mm-hmm. Martin Luther King but, like, but those are all conspiracies like there's there's no but it's facts. Also, we're just guessing no but what I'm saying is the there, there says is there were two different bullets found on the scene but there's other theories about that you are believing one of them there are other theories <laughs> what's the other theory there, you want to go to all the way back okay fine the uh, the other theory to yeah. your answer yeah. to JFK getting yeah. shot was that the security guard accidentally shot it his doesn't gun. Doesn't make sense. Okay, but it's another the, theory. The bullet the bullet was would have been close range at that point. It's right? another theory. All I'm saying is these are all theories. What I'm asking is why have we gotten to the point where every single thing is a conspiracy? Why can't it just be? Well, it's not a conspiracy. What it it's just an alternate way of thinking about it. That's a conspiracy. I know, right? but conspiracy <laughs> makes it sound bad. We're just talking about an alternate way. <laughs> makes it sound right? bad. Right? If I decide to come into this room and I go to my chair and I go all the way around and I come and sit down versus coming through the door and sitting down, it's just an alternate route. No, no, no. No. A conspiracy is... Ryan must be working for the government. Why would he go all the way around the table and sit down? <laughs> there must be something weird going on here. No, this is a ritual. And so then it would be. That's what I'm talking. It about. would be if my chair wasn't but, here. Maybe somebody put something over there for me to slip and fall. But you know, you know what I'm saying but, it's but, just but, an alternate. But you door. know, when you say George Zoros, that's a real person. Yeah, yeah. So, but I think the question goes, why would that? Um, why would that not be true? You don't think. You all don't I'm think- saying is all of this could be true, but I, it's just the immediacy of the reaction towards the, yeah. the the weirdest possible answer instead of the actual answer that's most <laughs> most likely a, a weird kid majority, tried to shoot the president. Majority Why of can't the it chat be that? in the poll says it was planned by the I'm government. I'm talking to them too. <laughs> I'm talking to everybody. I'm confused. Why is everybody responding because, to because such it doesn't make sense. Thing? It, okay, prime example. They did the background on the kid. And it's like the dumbest stuff is coming up about him that you like. It's weird. This stuff. guy is bank the accounts one? overseas. There's, there's, uh, he has no social media platform. I'm not saying all this stuff is impossible. I'm just saying why we skip over the natural answers for the conspiracy answers because first. Because it's not natural for Secret Service to get something like this. You wrong. think? No, I think it is very natural. Their, for them. their motto is we don't fail. Okay, I think they're lying. <laughs> I think it is very easy. Did you see that director? It's, I don't think it's as hard to do what that kid did as all y'all think. I think it's very easy. If somebody really wanted no, to, they could do it. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not that easy because I, I'm yeah. telling because, you, because it's, it it's, be. when when a when if Joe Biden was in that situation, it would have been very bad because they're paid to just protect them, protect the surrounding. Like like when when okay, prime example when they come into town and they fly into Dobbs. That is like they know what's at Dobbs all the way to where yes. and that radius. thirty like that yeah. radius. So and there's no radius. way that somebody could just y'all have y'all have way more trust in security and and all this stuff than I do. I do no, not trust. No, it's not it. trust. It's what they it's put protocol. out. Right? Yeah. They yeah. said this is our <laughs> protocol. This is what we do, and this is how thorough we are. Then if that's your protocol and that's how thorough you are, and this is what you do, all of a sudden you have this obvious blind spot. I think we're seeing how thorough they really are. Now, and that's not I'm good. Like, yeah, that's I was not a like, good situation. Maybe it's that's deteriorated over the years. Yeah, I'm like honestly, I did not. I was praying that he would, but I didn't think Obama was going to stay alive. I, I really didn't. I did. For real, yeah, for two terms. So, no yeah. Less. So yeah. that's why I'm like, either it was good and it's deteriorated over the years, or it just this is. I think inside. we put way too much trust in this stuff. I I think it's very normal for 
this this uh, 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 political figure hasn't gotten shot since what Reagan, a prominent uh, yeah, president, or president or almost or president, president hasn't yeah. got shot since Reagan, right? We're not counting the shoe that came at Bush. No, <laughs> <laughs> there was the, uh, there, there's another example. Congressional <laughs> baseball game. Yeah, but it wasn't a president. I'm talking about highest highest level, right? <laughs> We haven't Shoot. seen one since then. You don't think it's natural human behavior to be like, ain't nothing gonna happen. This, this, these are regular people that go home just like you. I don't, you don't think at, at work sometimes be like, Shh. I don't. I mean, think, they almost got Ronald Reagan. I don't that think a, that you saying. protect Donald Trump and you think nothing's gonna happen. I think you think every minute you got to be on point. Right, yeah. but, but here's another but let, thing too. He doesn't have a lot of Secret Service. Once you leave, once you leave the no. presidency, you he's got you, a lot. You no, do. you get, but yeah. you don't get a lot of. Secrets. You don't get as much. As you the don't president. get as the he's president. He's got though. more because mm. he's back as the president nominee. Uh, nominee, yeah, yeah he's not got as more. much as the and president. And he's hated. <laughs> Honestly, I think I, I would love to. I would love to know the numbers on that because I would. I would. I would protect. I would protect Donald Trump, but they don't. I, would say I'm more talking, Donald I mean, they've way. said it. This is known facts okay. that he doesn't have as much as the president. So the thing that you're saying about how could we not just look at it as a fail how could it, it's it's it can be flipped back right like you're giving way too much trust and you know not saying that this kid could do it al- alone mm-hmm. right what i'm putting much trust in what it's, it's you're basically saying the, the same thing you're saying to all of us could be said about what you just said as well i'm putting too much trust in the kid you're putting too much trust into thinking that common sense is going to be the is uh, incompetence mm. yeah Common, common sense I think is making incompetence sense here. is the standard. Nowadays, it probably. I think is. incompetence is the okay. standard. Okay, if you yeah, were to go okay. to, if you would go to, if you would go to a Falcons game or a basketball game, how likely do you think it is you're going to get a gun inside the arena? I think if somebody wanted to, they could. I don't think I, y'all are trusting this stuff way too. When no, you I have to it. go through a metal detector, right? If somebody really wanted to. The problem is the people who want to are usually not smart. But if somebody really wanted yeah. to, it's you not plan that hard. it out. You can plan, you plan it, it out. out. Yeah. You can plan it out. You got somebody that works there. They they don't get checked. That yeah, okay, much. okay. I'm talking about by yourself, not somebody oh, that works yourself? there, because yeah. that's that's by the part. Yourself. That's what we're looking at. By yourself, we're looking at. Ooh, you're looking at this guy. Hard. If you were, if you were, if you really want to, and you had and you had any level of intelligence, you could. This stuff, this, y- y'all are thinking this is like impenetrable stuff. Like this, is not that hard. People are real people. People go to the bathroom. People get sleepy. People wander off in their brain. Like this is is so many ways. But, you could but get that I think the, using his example, that's kind of hard to get into certain certain places. I'm thinking about even the airport. You, you, it's no way you can get past TSA with a gun. That's I'm not. not I'm not going to sit here and. Sh- tell you guys <laughs> in front of the government how you can do these. No, I'm not saying you can't. I'm no, just saying. Us, I'm just saying. Walking us. through Sean that, Grant, walking, <laughs> walking through the airport, and and you walking through metal detectors with a gun. That's that's not happening. Yeah. There's no way you can get a gun on a on a on a on a flight unless you are police. Unless you're police or you some something specific. You get what I'm saying? All right, so let's move on because y'all, y'all, y'all are surprising me today. All of y'all, the chat everybody. is agreeing. I, I know. That's what I'm talking to. I'm love, talking to you guys. I love the chat. Most days today, I was gonna say today yeah, you love them, right? <laughs> when you look right at the history of our government over time, it's not hard to believe conspiracy theories mm-hmm. yeah. or th- because lying or dishonesty or the lack of integrity has been a part of our cover-ups are normal yeah. in our history, yeah. And, yeah. It, and because of that. Yeah. When you constantly have that kind of reputation over time, you just lose faith in it to be anything else. But what yeah. I'm saying and is, competency is definitely you know how things look in a lot of ways that you've mentioned. But there has to be something wrong when these group of people are dead sure Donald Trump did this on his own, and these people are dead sure the government did it. Somebody wrong, but they're both very sure about it. Like now, you know what's what I mean? like, interesting is I know somebody who told me the other day that they think that the person who was announced dead was not re- was not a real person. But that's what I'm saying. It's like our imaginations have gone so wild. Oh, I see what you mean. I can just I could come up with any solution to it, and I could get people to believe it. Yeah, we're just so primed yeah. for it. Now. But but to me, when when stuff when when people even like the um, what, what's my man named that got sued by the by a family by the families of the school that got shoot got shot Alex up Jones. Alex Jones like when you get to that level of conspiracy it, it gets I to feel crazy like, that's what I'm saying I feel like we're all getting to that level yeah. of conspiracy because mm. to me to it's say concerning to, me to say the person didn't die that's crazy to me it's concerning yeah, me how crazy. how quickly we're moving to those things but anyway 